Hello, church. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 1. This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph, but before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to divorce her quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message to the prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took Mary as his wife. But he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. Okay. So we see two individuals here, the characters of uh, the Christmas story, Mary and Joseph, both of them willing to surrender, trust, and obey what God said, even when both of their situations were not what is the norm in their culture. First off, the young lady being pregnant while engaged to a man was potential adultery and stoning by the law. She willingly surrendered herself to what God had told her about having the Messiah and the Holy Spirit impregnating her by a miraculous conception as a virgin. Now, as Joseph is looking at this, we see his righteousness and his heart as he could have publicly ridiculed her and brought her before people, but he did not want to shame her publicly and he was going to put her away quietly, set her aside before their marriage date, and write her a bill of divorcement because they had an agreed marriage. But instead, the Holy Spirit reveals through a dream that it's Jesus. And we see both of them surrendering what they think, what their culture teaches, how they would normally respond in a situation, trusting God with what he's saying and being obedient and accepting what God had said to the point of naming him Jesus, the Savior of the world. It's an amazing story of our Christmas season. May God bless you as we culminate this weekend together as we celebrate the advent of love. God bless you. It's Easter.